how to use ab split facebook ads hi guys welcome back to the channel today i'm showing you how you can use ab split ads on facebook to know that which of your ad is going to perform better and how you can run ab ads on facebook so let's get started up first what is a b testing now in a b testing what happens is it's kind of like an experiment in which we run two ads at the same time and then compare the results between those two ads and see that which of the ad did better in simple words let's just say that you have run an ad for age between 20 to 25 right you created an ad for that you targeted the audience between 20 to 25 and in other ad you wanted to see how it will do in age between 16 to 20 so you run these ads and then at the end of the ad you saw that which of the ad brought more attention to your page or to your business and this way you can you know test that which one of your ad is going to do better and it will actually help you gain more and more audience to your page so this is how a b test works and now facebook also allows you to run ads like this to do a b split testing so what happens is we want to create an a b split test ad on facebook so what you have to do is you come to your facebook.com uh, slash ads manager where we manage our ads and create them so when you land on your dashboard you will see right here that these are different campaigns and everything you will see on the dashboard and right here above you will see the option of campaign and here you will see the option of create and then here is the option of more now if i wanted to create a simple ad i would have clicked on create but we will go to more and when we click on more you will see the option of a slash b test which is called a b split testing this is where we're going to create an ad which is going to be like two ads and it's going to be a slash b or a b split testing so i'm going to click on right here and it will load my test settings now what happens is if you want to create a new version you can create that if you're going with automatic then facebook is going to create an automated ad for you as facebook gives you two options and then there is an option of creating a new ad from the scratch so whatever you're choosing you have to create two ads at the same time and then we you know set up different variables and after that we have our a b split testing so here you can see test setup choose how you want to create your test see how it works right so yeah guys what you have to do is you can just go ahead and create a new version so what happens here is that you choose a campaign that you have already you know run or you can just you know create a new campaign right here after that you select a variable to test for example if you are selecting on the basis of age on the basis of geography whatever variable you're using you're going to select from here then there is compare existing ads let me show you how this works because most of the people will go with this one what happens is what would you like to test now you have two options you can go with campaign and add sets if you want to you know compare the campaigns that you run you can select campaign if you want to run the ad sets then you can do that as well so let's go with campaigns you can choose up to five five campaigns for your test now this is a good thing it's not just a b split testing like it's just not that you can only select two ads at the same time you can select up to five ads and compare them at the same time so they're going to be like for example if i add another campaign and then another so they're going to call campaign a campaign b c d so it will be like this you can select up to five so this is how it works it's super easy to use now facebook actually you know is giving you all of these options so that you can manage your page and business better so after that once you have added all of your campaigns right here let's just go with two i'm gonna just delete these two that i just added so what happens is i'm just gonna you know go ahead and add my campaigns that i already have now if you want to check out the campaigns you have well you can see them right here on your ad manager so what happens is you will see the campaigns right here if you want to see the ads you can just simply you know go ahead to add sets ad sets mean that different ads that you have run so what happens is campaign is different campaign is that 
you can have a campaign and then a campaign has different ads as well so then there is an ad set option as we just saw that you can actually compare ad sets to you can compare the campaigns and then there is ad sets and then there are ads that you can set as well so there are three categories and you can just you know compare any of these you create different assets and you, then you compare them and when the results come so what happens is the results can be actually you know seen on the manager as well and if you want to you know get organized better you want to see the results better then i would suggest you go to facebook creator studio as well use that too because there you can actually get an idea how your page is actually doing and what kind of audience you are bringing but ad manager also gives you an overview so now let me show you that where you get all of these different options as well so you click on these all tools option here you will see the i am right now at ads manager and you will see your billing audience and event manager right here then manage your business option is right here and if i okay let me just go back and okay there it is you can see that in the option of advertise, you will see that ad account setting, ad limits per page, ad manager, audience, automated rules, and creative hub. After that, you will see analyze and report. This is where you're going to see how your ad are actually doing. You can see ad reporting. Here, you will be reported about all the ads that you are actually running. The audience inside where are you getting this audience from? This is what we want to know. This is the main reason of a b split ad testing what happens is we want to know that where we are actually getting our audience from because i am you know setting up two ads which are going to be ad a and ad b i could do that i can change the location i can run ad a to a particular audience in a particular area and then ad b could be somewhere else and then i will get an insight that where from i'm getting the audience and what is the you know variable that i am counting on so i can have an idea that how to run ads after that brand collapse manager creative reporting experiments this is where we are doing our ab split it is called an experiment guys and after that insight and in the insights you will be able to check out of course the insight of your page your business and traffic analytics is the last option in which you actually see your traffic analytics side how much traffic you are getting what are the stats for your traffic that you're bringing to your page so yeah a b split test is a complicated thing it may sound at first but it's not it's super easy all you have to do is just you know select a campaign or an ad set and then you can just create two ads and then compare the analytics for them once you have done that you will be able to see that from where you're getting your audience and how you can attract more and more audience to your business on facebook so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you will be able to run a b split testing on your facebook very easily make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel